Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're back with our Keybase video tutorials. And on today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to render our metronome click as a MIDI track. So on the previous tutorial, we mentioned how to uh, render the metronome as an audio track. Now we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna do a MIDI track. Now, why would you want the metronome to be render as MIDI. Well, just think about it this way. Once you render it, whether to audio or MIDI, it's going to turn into an actual track from your track list, meaning that you would see it on your mix console as well as your timeline, obviously. And having it as a track, doesn't matter what kind of track it is, but just the fact that you have it as a track gives you a fader. Okay. Having a fader means that you can control easily the volume you can mute you can solo things so it gives you that functionality if you use the metronome just the way it is here yeah it works and it works great but if you want to change the volume you would have to go to that metronome setup and then you would have to go to that click sound and let's say you want to lower it you have to lower it and then press ok and yeah it's lo lo uh, softer it's lower right now that process you have to go in you have to go to the click sounds tab you have to either lower or raise your volume press ok those are like three or four steps right and honestly most of the times we are uh, in a hurry especially when producing people are paying by the hour it's a studio so you want to streamline things a little faster um so the option that we have, if we create it, if we turn it into a MIDI track, we would have a fader, so you can just push the fader up and up or down and that'll modify the volume. It's just as easy as that. So how do we do it? Well, very simple. <clears throat> if we go to project, we add a track. Oh, sorry. Project, add track, and we select signature track. You're going to see a signature there. Um... <clears throat> You're going to have this little arrow that points down and there is an option that says render MIDI click between locators. Before I click there, you want to make sure that you have your locators, your left and right or start and end locators um, between the, the song. So wherever the song starts, wherever the song ends, you want to have those locators. Um, so because sometimes you'll see that like you know the 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 end locator is like here like bar three or whatever no you want to have it all the way to the end so the metron goes even beyond the end of the song so you have a little more there so once you have that now you can go into that signature track options and then render midi click between locators so <clears throat> check what happened a new midi track has been created it's literally called MIDI click, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the metronome from here so you can hear. You can see it's actually making sound, okay? There is a click uh, that's being triggered from that MIDI click, and that's why I turn off the original metronome. So you could hear what's happening. If I go to my mix console, you can see that that uh, MIDI click It's actually there, um, and you can play with the volume to make it softer or louder, however you want, okay? You got some routing options. In this case, it is just triggering a default Microsoft uh, Wavetable synth. Well, you could be triggering, honestly, any instrument that could create any kind of percussive sound. Um, so you can now treat that click as basically as a track, right? Uh, as any other track. So if you want it louder, guess what? You just push that fader up. You want it softer, take it down. You want to mute it, press the mute button. You want to solo it, press the solo button. It is that simple. Now, another important thing here, as I said, this is MIDI, right? If, if, you, if you zoom in, 
you're just going to see those MIDI notes. That's what it is. You know, every, every quarter note, there's a boom, 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 click, 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 right? Now, the beauty of this, the beauty of this is that if you modify the tempo, the MIDI will change accordingly because the MIDI is, uh, was written on a grid. So right now we're at 226, but if I lower it, let's say, let's say 100. You can type 100, press play. It is in fact slower. If you want it faster, let's do 300. There it is. So now you have a click that changes accordingly. Uh, once again, you can trigger whatever instrument you want. Uh, this one by default, it just trigger that um, just to have something as far as the output routing, but you could do any, honestly, any um, virtual instrument that have any kind of like percussive sound. And that way you'll be having your own metronome, your own click as a fader. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.